All right, got us another project to do. This one's gonna be the installation of a couple of wireless security cameras. These are from Walmart and they're pretty affordable. They were about 80 bucks, 70 bucks. I forgot what the hell the price was, but either way, they're relatively affordable and they do all kinds of features. They have night vision. They actually have a LED spotlight that comes on via motion sensor to illuminate an area in front of you. And they also have a intercom feature where you can communicate to whoever's in front of the camera. They, they do a whole lot of stuff. And they just connect to a Wi-Fi, your normal Wi-Fi router. And for all intents and purposes, the whole setup is supposed to be quick and easy. As you can see, they come with a regular wall mount and power supply for the cameras. There's no hub or anything that you need to set up, but uh, in order to record any video, you can either go with the micro SD card that's in the cameras, or you could set up a cloud service to record straight to a cloud, which is probably a better feature anyway, because, well, if somebody snatches your camera, you're not losing your video. So. The next thing I'm going to do before I actually hang these things up is get them set up with the phone app so we can confirm that they actually work, and then we'll hang them up and conclude everything. So that'll be our next step, setup time. Alright, our next step is going to be to start up the app on the phone and pair the cameras, get everything set up prior to installation. going to turn on the app app is called Night Owl. You can download it for free. No big deal. And on here, no device added, so we're going to add a device. Standalone camera. It asks you for a QR code scan. See they have that on the back of the camera. You also see the flashing light there on the power cord. And we're going to go ahead and scan that and Bam! Got standalone camera. Hit that. It asks you to turn your mobile data off, but we already did that. And then it asks you if the status light is flashing quickly, which it is. So we're going to hit yes. And then it says it's scanning. It says connect to device. So we're going to connect to the device. Connection successful. Now it's asking us to pick your network. So our network is this right here. Wait for it to finish scanning. Now, it's asking for a password. Obviously, you should have your wireless networks always password protected. So, I'm going to go and get that password and be right back. All right. Obviously, I'm not showing a password, but we're going to connect. Be patient as camera connects to Wi Fi. Yep, it talks some more. And yes, that was the camera saying that. The device has been added successfully. Now, we're going to go ahead and name the device. This particular camera was set up specifically to cover the back gate area, so I'm going to name it Backyard. As you can see, it pops up showing the camera is online. As you can see, the camera is operational. It 
show the box right there. Now, do a quick little demonstration of what it could do. As you can see, you got a spotlight. Turn that on and off. And of course, the app has all the other features. You can talk through it and all that. I don't want to really demonstrate the audio part because we're going to have some bad feedback with that. But uh, when I get it set up, we will demonstrate that feature. So I'm going to go ahead and get this other camera set up. And then I'll go ahead and get the units hung up. And we can go from there. So I will be right back. All right, we got the cameras mounted. This is the one aiming towards the backyard here. I uh, took advantage of the air conditioning lines here and their wire ties to secure the power cable going all the way down, down through here and down to the outdoor outlet that's set up to accommodate that one. Continuing on, up here we got this one aiming out towards the main gate. And same thing using, in this case really I'm using little cable tie, uh, straps to secure it to the wall. Going down, 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 over here, and up to that outlet right there. Try to keep things somewhat neat in order to be able to just have it look somewhat decent. But uh, as we can see right here, if we get a little bit of a focus here with the camera, there we go. We're looking over at the thing. Take a minute to walk out here. And again, wait for a focus. And there we go. And there I am right there holding a phone. Yeah, there, there we go. There we go. Right there. Yep. So, yep. Cameras are online, working, all that good stuff. Now, obviously, as we could see from the installation process, you could expand this thing by adding several more cameras to look wherever you want them to look. I'm not sure what the maximum number is, but hopefully it's a high enough number because there's several other spots that I want to have Overwatch on. So we're going to eventually get some more cameras and get them set up. And of course, there'll be more videos on that just as well. But until the next time, see you later.